It is your girl Amanda Galore, and today we are back with another video, honey. Today's video, we talking, okay? The girls is talking, and we are just talking about the journey to self love. The journey, the, we're talking about the journey before the journey. We're talking about the are you ready? Are you ready for what it takes to even begin a self love journey? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about all that entails, all that comes in with self-love alone all that comes in with the journey of self-love alone that's what we're talking about so we're not even gonna keep going because the video is a little lengthy y'all know i'll be trying to keep it with that 15 minutes girl that did not happen okay we just that did not happen in this video but we are gonna go ahead and get into the video thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you really watch the whole thing watch the whole thing stay tuned for part two Bye. what's up you got oh this is not my intro get it together okay <laughs> what's up y'all so we are going to be doing a video um as you can see my eyes are already done because i you guys when i make a promise that i want to keep my videos within 15 minutes i am not kidding i really want to keep my videos within 15 minutes so i went ahead and did the long part and we're just gonna do our makeup but we are gonna be talking so i'm gonna talk and do my makeup at the same time okay so we are going to i'm trying to see how i can do this without Okay, whatever, it's gonna have to be in the camera. Um, So I did a post on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should at, I mean, underscore the Lord. But anyways, um, I made a post on Instagram and um, it, was, it was about self-love. It was a reel um, and somebody commented on it and was like, um, easier said than done. And I was like, no, it's not, you know? So I decided I'm gonna do a video on self-love. So if you don't wanna hear me talk about self-love, this is another video for you. But I really think you should stick around and listen. So my post was basically saying like, you know, like love yourself and just treat yourself right. You know what I mean? Like in order to have a healthy relationship, the first relationship that you have to, what's the word I'm looking for? That you have to, succeed in that's not the word i'm looking for but that's basically what i'm trying to say that the first relationship that you have to succeed in is the relationship with yourself you know like in my video i was basically saying you can't show somebody how to love you if you don't know how to love yourself so that's what we're talking about we're talking about self-love i'm just letting this sit a little bit look we're not doing a makeup video so i am not going to be telling you anything i'm doing on my face i have a makeup video i'll link it but we are just talking while i do my makeup okay okay but um so i was like look it's not easier said than done does it take time does it take determination does it take consistency yes but it's not something that's hard it's something you just do so the more you do it it's gonna become something that is just like the norm for you now but it takes practice Practice makes perfect, and that comes with every aspect of life. So you can't say practice makes perfect and everything else, but when it comes to loving yourself, it doesn't take practice. That doesn't make sense. It takes practice. You have to practice loving yourself. You, to, For you to be really and truly in love with yourself, self-love comes with self-acceptance. Self-love comes with self-awareness. Self-love comes with everything about yourself. You have to know yourself inside and out, okay? To me, I feel like being 100% in love with yourself is accepting yourself 100% how you are. Now, granted, do not get me wrong, there are some things about ourselves that we don't love. Like, come on now, I'm not gonna sit here and look, y'all know me, I don't lie. We not finna do all that. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest with you. There are some stuff about yourself that you just don't love. You just don't love it. It's not something that you love. Can you change it? Can you change it? If you have internal stuff about yourself that you don't love, it's your job to fix it. It's your job to self-reflect. It is your job to look deep within yourself and see what is going on. What am I not you know what's what's not clicking for me it is nobody else's job to do that it's not your neighbor's job it's not your boyfriend's job it's 
it's nobody's job but yours to really reflect on yourself and see what it is that you do or do not like about yourself. I feel like to really accomplish self-love, to it starts within. I know it sounds like freaking poetry, but that's real life. <laughs> For real self-love, it starts within. You have to love yourself internally because you could fix yourself on the external all you want and you're still going to not be happy with yourself. So fix yourself internally. Fix the inside of you. Love the person that you are inside and that's going to help you love you. That's going to help you create self-love. But the first thing that you have to do is find, you have to dig, okay? You have to take some time away from life and really dig yourself out and make time. Put yourself first. Learn yourself. Find out what yourself likes. Find out what makes you happy about yourself, okay? Take a break off of social media, yo. When you're on a self-love journey, F social media. Unless you are F social media. Unless you're on YouTube, like listening to motivational people, listening to people who are going to help build your soul, F social media. Stay off of social media. Stay off of, of social media is so fake, yo. Social media is a deception. Social media is an image that people want you to see. F social media. Get off of social media. Don't have nothing to do with social media. When you are trying to love yourself, social media is probably the worst thing to go to. That is like saying you want to lose weight and you at a buffet. No, it doesn't work, okay? It does not work. So for the time being, F social media. Take the time. Take about, I want you to take like four months, yo. Four months. I really want to say six, but we're going to be realistic. Okay, six might be a little long for some, but if you can do six, I really want to say six. Take about four months, six, to disconnect from the world, bro. Disconnect from the world. And during your time of disconnecting, don't just disconnect to go hide out. That's not what disconnecting is. Disconnecting is pulling yourself back and focusing solely on your own energy. That is you disconnecting. That is what that is for. You are pulling yourself back and literally just focusing 100% on your own energy. Step, step back and stop focusing on what the world shows you is important. Stop doing that. Literally step back, come out of alignment with the world and focus completely on you. Focus on completely what you want. Focus on completely what you feel like. Focus on you. Take the time to learn yourself. Take the time to learn what hurts you. What hurted you? What are you still damaged from? When you're building self-love, you have to let yourself know it is, you're not perfect, bro. Like, you're never gonna be perfect. Allow yourself that room for error. Like, don't go into error and then just like hate yourself even more because you messed up. You're not perfect. So understand like, okay, yeah, I might mess up on this. I might fumble back into my old way a little bit but it's persistent you have to be persistent it's practice you're practicing whatever it is that you want to change about yourself i'm trying to think but it's something that you might not like about yourself that would hinder you from loving yourself because see the thing is so many times it's outside things but the outside things have to deal with inside traumas so it's like, I have to think, I have to really like think of something that's like generic that everybody can like, okay, I see what you're talking about. Um, come on, Lord, give me something here. Um, okay, I'm using relationships. I feel like everybody can click onto a relationship and whether you see it or not, relationships have a lot to do with self-love. So we're gonna talk about relationship. Let's say we have a strong woman, right? We have a very strong woman and then we have a very um overly submissive woman let's say right so each one of these women are how they are for a reason right you could have just been born a little bit more independent or a little bit more masculine or you could have been born a little bit more submissive or a little bit more on the weaker end even though submissiveness does not equal weak and masculine does not equal like strength not all the time but you know you could have just been naturally born that way right but there is something within you that made you cling to that energy even more to where now as a grown-up this is how you are right so 
as a strong woman, you may have dealt with bullying in the past, right? You may have been bullied in the past and by you being bullied in the past, that made you have a barrier against the world where you're defending yourself by being the strong person, this untouchable person to, wow, to where now nobody can touch you, right? Or you can have the more submissive person to where you were never able to please anybody unless you did what they wanted you to do. You felt love from people when you did what they wanted you to do. So you've now turned yourself into this person who is a more submissive person because that's how you feel your love. You feel your love by giving that energy to other people to where they can give you love. Now, each of those is a defense mechanism to make yourself feel better. Now, is it right? No, it's not. <laughs> Whether it's strong or weak, it's not right. It's supposed to be balanced, you know? So if you're more of either end of the spectrum, it's not right. Regardless of the outcome, it's not. It's about balance. But that alone is a step, a stepping process in order to to build yourself up to the person that you want yourself to be, right? Like you have to be able to notice stuff like that, like something as simple and as big as that to realize, okay, this is what needs to be changed. This is what needs to be tweaked. This is what, so you have to really be able to go deep inside of yourself, see your flaws and the flaws that, I'm supposed to be doing my makeup, but I can't, I can't do my makeup and talk, but the flaws that need to be worked out, the flaws that need to be changed and 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 tweaked and and grown and you know whatever it is in yourself, whatever whoever it is that you see yourself being, okay? Because my issues with these videos is like I have to say it generically to where everybody can get it at the same time, and everybody's going through so many different things. So it's like whoever you see yourself being. Okay, not physically. I am not talking about physically. This has nothing to do with physical. Whoever or however you see yourself being as a human, as a human, however you see yourself being as a human, work on being that person internally, right? So like for instance, I'm gonna use myself, okay? I want to be more of like a giver. Um, and not just like to like people around me, just like period, like homeless people or whatever. I just want to be more of a giver. I want to be more of that type of person. Um, and that's not naturally me. I used to see a homeless person and be like, um, <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I mean, if I had it, I had it, you know, but like, it wasn't my intention to like, be that for them like be you know like you know what i'm saying so when i when it when i got to the point in my life where i was like i want to do more of this i want to be more of this type of person i want to be more you know i just want to be nicer i want to be a giver i want to be everything that that has to do with just good energy and light and all this stuff i had to make certain changes you know what i mean i had to do certain things that would align to what i want for myself because that way if i'm in alignment to what i want for myself i love myself internally a hundred percent okay so that's where you have to go first that's where you have to go first you have to love yourself internally internally first because you could fix the outside all you want. The outside is is surgery work. Baby. Like when I say surgery work, I mean the outside is is the outside is cosmetics basically. Like not makeup cosmetics, but it's it's just visual. You know, you don't feel that. So yeah, you might look good and granted looking good might even help you feel good a little bit, but that's makeup. You go that's going to come off. You know that feeling's going to run out and then what are you going to do? So it's like you have to go a little bit more in depth with it and and really get into the stuff that is meant for you to get into. You have to dig deep. You have to dig. Like, I don't know how much more to put it to where I say you got to dig deep. Find, the, find whatever you don't like about yourself and find the person that you want to be. Look at all the qualities that, of the person that you want to be internally. Look at all those qualities that that person would have. What would they have? Whether it's like, okay, you want to be rich. What qualities does a rich person have? 
You know what I mean? You don't just be rich because you just, because people could be rich and go broke. What qualities do they have? Is it determination? Is it dedication? Is it, is it not dwelling on stuff? What is it? What qualities do they have? What qualities does a person that matches up to where you see yourself, what qualities do they have? And work on yourself to have those qualities and understand that it is not going to happen overnight. You're not going to wake up tomorrow and be the person that you want to be. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. So what you need to understand and what you need to allow yourself to see is, okay, this is what I want. This is how I work on it. It's not, you're, you're not just going to wake up and, oh yeah, I'm this person. Like, no, life is going to throw tests at you. Life is going to see how, how, how much are you willing to try to put in the work to be this person that you're wanting to be. And it's gonna keep throwing those tests. It's gonna keep seeing, okay, do you really got it? Was that just a facade? Do you really have this down packed? It's gonna keep doing that. So you're gonna have to keep proving to yourself and to the world, this is who I want to be. This is the person that I'm ready to step into. But that's on you. Are you willing, are you ready to step into that person? You know what I mean? So before you can even get to the self-love journey, you have to you have to get to the, am I ready for the self-love journey? You have to see, are you ready for the preparation? Are you ready for the work that it's the trials and tribulations that's going to come? Are you even ready for that? But yeah, are you even ready for what all that entails? You know what I mean? They say, be careful what you're asking for because you don't really know what you're asking for until you got to go through the stuff that what you're asking for has to go through. So before you can even start your self-love journey, are you ready for the trials and tribulations that you gotta go through? Are you ready to really fight the demons that you gotta fight? Are you ready to really step into yourself? Are you really ready to look in the mirror and tell yourself the truth? Are you really ready to be like, okay, well this, this, that, and the third? Are you really ready to be like, I self-pity myself? You know what I mean? Like, are you ready for that truth? That's the number one that alone this was supposed to be a self-love video but I'm, I'm glad that it that it changed into this format because that's it's so true like before you can even just be like oh yeah i'm gonna sell like understand you are are you are you ready for the journey that it takes and until you're ready for the journey that it takes until you're hold on i need to my lips i can't hold on so yeah sorry that would be number one are you ready? Are you ready for what you're really asking for before you can even before you can even begin that journey? Life is going to be like, I. Right, you say that's what you want, right? Okay. So let's hit you with stuff every day. And let me tell you, it's, only gonna, it's not going to work unless you're off social media. I can tell you that right now. So if you're not willing to give up social media yet, if you're not willing to isolate yourself, don't waste your time. If you're not willing to do that, don't even waste your time yet. Don't even waste your time. Let me know when you're really willing to make sacrifices to really learn how to love yourself. When you're really willing to make those sacrifices to really love yourself, we could talk. We could talk. I'm gonna make a part two that's really gonna talk about self-love. But this, this video is, are you really willing to go through what you need to go through for self-love? And I'm so glad this video went like this. I am so glad, Lord, I need to thank you for allowing this video to go like this because that's some real stuff right there. Are you willing? Are you willing? This is cute. I look good, honey. That is like, that's the question. Are you willing? Oh, let me tell y'all something. Blush, baby, you do makeup. Blush gonna elevate your look. I just gotta let you know that right now, okay? Just had to let you know that. But back to what we're talking about. Are you willing to go through the sacrifices? Are you willing to maybe dislike yourself a little more in order to get to the person that you like are you willing to face the truths that you probably run from are you willing to face the things that you probably that you probably buried a long time ago you know what i mean like 
are you willing to do that? Because if you're not willing to do that, you're not ready for self-love. So before, before we can even talk about self-love, are you willing to do those things? Because that's what it entails to get to that, to get to that part. If God has something he wants to say, he going to say it. It's going to come out and that's what it's going to be. So today's video is, are you ready? Are you sure you're ready for the transition that it takes? Are you sure you're ready for the patience, the dedication, the hard work? Are you sure that you're ready to really put in how you need to put in in order to get to the point where you can be like, I am even on a self-love journey? Are you even ready to, to do what you need to do before it even gets to the point where you are there are you are you ready and if you're ready as i said stay tuned for part two because then we're going to talk about the journey itself but the question is are you ready but thank you so much for watching today's video i hope this video was really all over the place it was really all over the place and it was a lot going on it was a lot going on from a whole bunch of different angles and i really feel like it is because it's there's so much that goes into self-love there's so much that goes into the journey and i think that's why this video took the direction of hold up before we even hit this point that point this are you ready are you ready for what's even to come and i feel like if you made it this far in the video you definitely you i would say that you're ready if you made it to the end i would say that you're ready because in the beginning it was a lot it was a lot going on and for you to sit through the lot that was going on for you to have that patience to really get to the answer, I think you're ready. I would say that, that you're ready. Um, but thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you like, um, share it with somebody if you feel like they can use it. Replay it a thousand times if you feel like it's really something for you. Like this video is y'all's key. It's on the internet. It ain't going away unless I delete it. <laughs> but thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you could, why is there so much land? If you could follow me on Instagram at Amanda underscore Glory. As I said, this video video came off of a reel that I even did on Instagram. So definitely follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for the love. Um, thank you so much for just watching this video. Like it means a lot to me. I don't even care if it's three people. Like, I appreciate it. Um, but thank you. And I can't wait to be saying my OGs no, because y'all going to be the OGs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. But um, I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, stay tuned for part two. For part two, we actually going to be talking about the journey. Okay. Come with me. Leave all your things, yeah. We can stop a Gucci, stop a Louis V, yeah. Come with me. Fly you at the crease. Phone speed, so go to Paris.